Got this gorgeous sky blue and turquoise blue pen blank cast up for an American Patriot pen. We're going to get this going. I'm going to turn my lathe up to full speed and let's turn this out. Well, that was entertaining. It's all cleaned up and polished up and I'll see you guys back when I'm ready to do some hot ultra gloss got this beautiful blank all polished up so all ready to go to hit with a little bit of hot ultra gloss just to give it that final shine get rid of any little micro buff marks that come up from the polishing process my favorite compound to use ever since I was introduced to it from a guy out of woodcraft same guy that co-owns and operates Lizard Blanks actually turned me on to this stuff, and it is my favorite to use when working with resins and putting that final polish on. So we buff that in by hand, and we turn it on, go up to about 2,000 RPM, and then we just buff that compound in further. Build up just a wee, wee bit of heat. And then we clean it off. There we go. That's ready for assembly. We're going to go ahead and get this American Patriot pen put together. I've got this nice, beautiful, deep ocean blue effect going on these blanks. So let's kick it off. First things first, we're going to verify our center line. Our center line is right there. That's our concentricity line we've got marked in there. So we're going to press the end tip into the opposite side.
Now you got to watch out with the antique finishes because they do have a lot of buildup in order to give them that antiqued effect. And so you will get some metal filing buildup on the inside there as you're pressing them together. And that's okay. You just clean it out with a pick. Comes right out. And it actually gives it a tighter fit so you won't have problems with it later. There we have it. Nice tight fit all the way around. Good fitment. Look at that color. It's beautiful. All right, now we're going to press in our center band. And I like to line up the A with my central point. My central point this time is actually going to be right where my center line is at. It's going to give me an easy, quick reference for putting on my cap later. I don't always do that. Usually I'll set my A on whatever line I want for my clip. To go through but there isn't really a bad side to this pen so I don't have to worry about any of that. I'm just going to make it easy on myself press it in right here. I go ahead and drop in my ink, which I've already popped a little rubber tip off. Put my spring on with the smaller end toward the shoulder. Slide that right in there. Thread on my mechanism. There we go. And now I can take my upper assembly, line my clip up with the same center line on this one that I had on the other one. So it's going to go right here. We'll press that together. It's an awful noise. Again, watch for metal buildup to come up as you're pressing this in, which this one is. And we just clean that off with our pick. There we go, we can drive that the rest of the way home. There we have it. Now we can take our lower assembly, twist back our, our ink so we don't jab ourselves with it as we press these together. And now we will line up our clip with the A, press that in, drives home, and we have one gorgeous American Patriot pen. Beautiful deep sea blue. Look at that. Just shines. It's beautiful. Nice twist action. It's a wonderful pen. It's going to make a great gift.